I. My name is Muhammad Ali Faikal bin Rafizol and my magnetic number is 273615. Today, I want to talk about nature. So, nature is all living and non-living things that exist naturally on the surface of the earth, of part of it. Nature can be also called flora and fauna. So, in nature, uh, I am very interested to talking about forest, right? So, what the meaning of forest? Hmm, forest uh, refer to overground areas widely and mixed forests are different from farm whose cheeks and planted by humans and are usually filled with one, only one or two species of trees. Okay, forests are also classified according to change in evolution characteristics from sea level, a combination of flora, habitat, climax, and soil, and also biotic. So, let's know seven benefits of the forest to human life. Okay, first, strengthen the land. Forest strengthen to the soil from the landslide. The creeping forest structures of creeping trunks and various size acts as a natural concrete network to hold the soil for cultivations and provide the soil structure of capability of storing water and filtering rainwater for human use okay next supply clean air forests carry out many photosynthesis process by suffering fresh air especially oxygen for life right or controlling air humidity from the process transpiration as well as filtering or Absorbing dirty air and pollution such as carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, nitrogen dioxide, and so on. Okay, next, supply the sources of medicines. There are tens of thousands of herbicus plants and medicines in the tropical forest that are an important sources in the medical industry both parasitical and traditional nearly 19 percent of humans diseases now to medical science can be treated with prescriptionist drugs that come from nature especially forest right in fact about 7,000 medicants compounds precipitated by Western doctor come from plants in tropical rainforest. Okay, next, cover human health. Forests provide fresh air to humans, nutrients and nutrients from foods and drinks as well as beautiful scenery for mental health in addition uh, it also prevents dangerous diseases such as dengue malaria zika ebola and so on if the male life habitats that host the virus is pres preserved and not destroyed Stabilizing the weather. Forests play an important role in the regulating the rain cycle as well as carrying out the process of water vapor, transpiration, and maintain ambient temperature, humidity, and air pressure as well as wine circulation. circulation.
control climate change and global heating right forests become the lungs of the earth by absorbing large amounts the greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide and so on which are the causes of the atmospheric warming storing in solid form is that three word mass the process of transpiration rainwater cycle control and oxygen gas production also play an important lastly supporting habitats and wildlife ecosystem tropical forests are important habitats for hundreds of thousands of species of flora and fauna and form complex ecosystem and interactions that provide stability and surviving on uh, benefits of the forest to the human life hmm actually there are also studies that states are seven more benefits of the forest to humans among them are um, ecotourism become uh, sweet city dwelling providing peace of life providing important water catchment area fertilize the soil supply foods and sea resources and lastly control fluid problems okay that's all from me thank you hi i'm asma binti muhammad nasir so regarding to the our team uh, which is nature so i'm going to talk about uh, the sea so uh, as we know that there is so many living things that live under the world that we live so we must protect our sea so check uh, the video after this <laughs> into the sea when uh, you are doing activity at the beach please 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 you are advised to not to put your rubbish into the sea make sure every time you are planning uh, to do activity uh, at the beach uh, you are suggest to bring along your own plastic so that you can put uh, all of your stuff or, or your um, rubbish into uh, the plastic and then you can uh, bring it along uh, to home or, or throw it to the bin nearby uh, next when you are doing activities at the beach uh, such as snorkeling or swimming or anything at that please don't use any mechanical product yet that you could harm marine life without you ever realize it uh, please make sure you check first the things that uh, you use is eco-friendly so that uh, we could protect uh, others life and the factory that were built around the
the sea uh, should manage their uh, factory waste well so that the toxic uh, doesn't flow through uh, through the sea uh, it will damage the sea and it takes time to clean it uh, it will cause an endanger uh, to marine life when we are doing activity without concentrating about uh, others' life that exists around us, we will do harm to them. Just imagine in the future on how about on the next generation life. They can't even enjoy the activity that we do today as we are the reason to the damage of uh, this habitat. also uh, endanger the ecosystem as it may lead to extinction but we disturb one of uh, the habitat we just disturbing uh, the entire habitat uh, even without we realize about this this is what most frightens uh, as we don't even want to see any of the habitats that life under the sea uh, will extinct so we must take action from now stop doing harm to them <laughs>